how many did you guys pitch? You know, it's before you got that first, you know, someone that was like, actually let you in and was like, oh yeah, this might be a good idea. Oh, that's a, I don't have the, 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 the right number on top of my head, but it must have been in, in 2018, 2019, at least uh, 40, 50 different, different firms that we, that we spoke to and um, that we spoke to. And then there was a lot of the ones that ghosted us and never replied, right? <laughs> so right. Yeah, uh, I, I don't have, uh, but I mean, it, it, it was, it was really, really hard. Uh, and I also remember, you know, the times you're just starting to question, you know, is that, is that what you see? Is that really, is that really a thing? Is that really happening? And you kind of start questioning right. your own, your own beliefs, but luckily we, uh, and uh, I mean, Chris is a fantastic co-founder as well. So whenever he had a, a bit of a, a, um, a low, I was able to kind of pull him up and sure. the other way around. And it's still today. I mean, um, entrepreneurship is just, uh, you know, it's a roller coaster of ups and downs and we yeah. are very complimentary. We have our ups and downs never together so far. So we, whenever the other one needs a bit of a, uh, of a, uh, of, of a shoulder and, uh, whatever we, we are really complimentary on that. And I think that's also one of the things, um, that, that is just really important in, in, in entrepreneurship in general is like really pick your founder, like your co-founder that you, that you work with, because at the end we spend so much time together that, uh, that really yeah. has to work.